Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you aren't aware about the series Walk Through the Conversion is where we take a detailed and slow paced walk through the conversion. Whereas Revealed is where we slightly reveal the concept. Before heading into the video, I just want to say that we, Team Motorhome Adventures, hope that you're all doing well. The pandemic is something that none of us expected 2020 to be like. But we're here trying to make the best of what we get. Isolated travel is a whole new vibe. And if you're looking forward to buying or even renting a first class home on wheels for your next trip, then keep on watching. In today's episode, we will be walking through Mini Colossal. The concept is as exotic as the name. Based on a Ford 4020 wheelbase, this 12-seater vehicle was converted into a fully functional home that not just sleeps but also seats six on board, plus the driver and co-driver space. So without the further ado, let's walk in. The exterior comes with a cool blend of white and green. The cab over space is not there just for the aesthetic purpose but also has a practical aspect to it which we'll discover later. We also have an awning that you can crank up manually, laze around and get the vitamin D supply that you need. While the slide out barbecue gets the job done. This works on both electric as well as LPG supply because Tandoor is the Indian way. Now let's move on to the rear of the camper. There's a bike carrier that can take a load of up to 300 kilograms, behind which is a door that gives you direct access to the genset from outside the camper. And on top, we have our rear cams. Now this is something that you won't be able to see, but under the caravan, we have a 300 liter freshwater tank and a 50 litre black water tank. On the top, we have 300 watt solar panels as well as camping lights outside the caravan. Now let's take a quick jump in the cabin. Now I would term myself a petite driver but that's not to say that there's ample space in the cabin not just to seat the driver but also the helper and to put any small luggage that they may have. There's also a drop down bed that makes it very comfortable for the onboard staff to get the sleep that they need while being isolated and providing the passenger their privacy. There's a intercom as well as a walkie talkie in the caravan for communication purpose but there's also a small door that provides you direct access just in case you need an instant answer. Now that we're done with the basics, let's move on to the actual home of the suites. The whole interior was created with a color palette of caramel and chocolate, keeping that woodsy home-like vibe while providing the exact balance of the exterior. And this right here is our compact but sufficient kitchenette based on a 304 grade stainless steel with 8% nickelite, which is the best food grade material in the market. We also have a chimney, burner, basin, and a small window to provide you perfect scenery for every time you cook something new. Under the kitchen countertops, we have a storage space to store the genset as well as cutleries and utensils. Now moving on to our bathroom. The bathroom has been completely customized on reinforced fiber. More information on that linked in the description box below. This is the shower head, which comes with both cold and hot water supply, which is something that we all need for an evening calming session. We also have a basin as well as a pneumatic activating wall face cover. Too technical, I know, but what that means is something that you may have seen in the airplane commodes and something that saves you a lot of water wastage. Moving on. 
To intensify the Zen mod even more, we have an acrylic top bar with storage underneath to save all your goods in a place from where you can easily access them. And here we have our microwave, more storage and a 30 litre 12 by 24 volt DC battery operated fridge. Moving on to our lounge area. We have a drop down bed on each side of the caravan providing sleeping accommodation of two on board as well as a sofa and a dining area that converts and combines into a master bed with insertion of two mere wooden planks which whenever not required can be stored under the sofa with rest of your luggage. We also have two additional sockets on the floor to create an extended dining nook whenever required. And lastly, but certainly not the least, the cab over bed. On which you can hop onto using the collapsible ladder, saving you a lot of space without being too much on your face. And honestly, the cab over bed feels more like a master bed. Comment down below on which bed would you consider as a master. Concluding this concept, of home away home on wheels with final few amenities like a 32 inches television, some charging sockets, battery operated lights and fan and a one ton cassette AC on the rooftop which functions through the genset to bring you the north pole when you're traveling south. I hope I covered everything. Proud to say that each and everything has been made in house, made in India. If you have any questions regarding the price of this caravan or are looking forward to buying or even renting your first class home on wheels, then make sure to check out the information mentioned in the description box below. We hope that you liked this walk through the conversion and if you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels. Thank you so much for coming by Motorum Adventures, signing off.